start to let the media into the room. Coming in now, audio is live. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to this afternoon's press conference to preview the Atletico Madrid game in the Champions League. There is simultaneous translation available today if you select at the bottom the interpretation function and click your desired language of English or Spanish that will come through automatically from our interpreter. If you'd like a question during the press conference please use the raise hand function which is available on Zoom and we'll try to get round to as many of you as we can. We're going to start with Gary Cottle from Sky Sports News. Gary, when you're ready, if you could unmute yourself, and away you go. Thomas, uh, thank you very much for your time. Hi. Um, obviously, six games, actually, is that the big one? Gary, we lost, <laughs> we lost your Wi-Fi there. Could you just repeat that again, please? Yeah, can you see me now? Sorry about that. We can see, we see you all the time. We just didn't hear yeah, you. Yeah, I was, I, I was missing your achievements, Thomas, uh, domestically in countries. I missed countries it. And, I missed it. so far here in the Premier League. <laughs> yeah, OK. It, but it's the Champions League, your, your big priority, personally. No. No, 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 no. My priority is very simple. My priority is always the game we play and uh, has never been uh, different and will hopefully never change because it's exactly what I expect from all my players and all my teams that uh, when we wear the Chelsea shirt we, we play a Chelsea game and that means we play to win and we play to give 100% uh, of effort of intensity and, and of what is possible in this day. This might be someday better and someday not so good and it always depends on the opponent and the circumstances but there are no, no, no preferences, not for me and uh, this is what I expect from my players. It's very nice, it's uh, amazing and, and exciting to play Champions League games, uh, knockout, knockout stage you know that you arrive on the highest level and you play when you play Atletico in first round of, of knockout then you know that you are asked on your highest level and this is what we want to have so we feel confident we feel excited and uh, on the same time focused so the right mix to arrive in Bucharest one more is, is Thiago uh, available and this is a game for his kind of experience it is but he's not available he is uh, training right now while we are leaving in the next minute, so uh, he did not do training with the, the squad and is not available. James, talk to Hi Thomas, a lot was made of Callum hudson Adoy coming off on Saturday. What's his reaction been like since and have you had to speak to him one-to-one -one after what happened against Southampton? First of all, we decided to speak to him in front of the whole group because uh, I had my reasons to do it. Was it the right decision? Well, I don't know. It was my decision in this moment. Um, and for us in the group, we spoke in front of the whole group, to not make it bigger than it is, because for us it was not a big thing. I know that it could be sometimes, and sometimes you reflect while you do it, should I do it, because maybe the media and outside and family and whatever makes it bigger than it actually is meant. Um, still, I did it, and uh, we had a, we had the, the only reaction that we wanted was uh, he went back to, to to normal mood, to to a good mood, to a smile, to good training on the next day, to a very very good training today, and that's it. I already said right after the game, this is the decision for today. This is the lesson to 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 learn from today, for him, for me also, 
and uh, and we go on and and then it's forgotten and it's absolutely the way so in in in, in here in Coben between us between us two between me and the team business as usual no big thing Nizar Kinsella Hi Tom, I so just wanted to ask, uh, how's Kai Havertz and how's Christian Pulisic headed the match? I mean, is there any other injury doubts for the game? I'm very happy that uh, both of them are in, 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 the, um, in the group. They trained with us, they have uh, no complaints. And they're happy they travel with us and are in the squad for tomorrow. Pablo Lopez. Hi Mr. Hi. Hey, Pro and Pablo Lopez from Radio Marca in Madrid. The day of the draw, this round of champions, you were the Paris coach. What do you think about this uh, play of this knockout between Chelsea and Atletico at that moment? And what uh, your reason has changed about uh, now that you are in London, you are the Chelsea's coach? Your vision has changed? Thank what, you. What has changed? My vision. My vision. Uh, yeah, my vision has changed because in, I, in my beliefs the vision of a coach changes with the team and the club where, where, where you work um, is, uh, is for me a given that you trust the club, that you respect the, the, the structure and the power of a club that you respect the culture of any country where you work and you, um, and you adapt to your players and to the style and to the characteristic of, of the team. This is for me my job to do and I feel happy to do this because this keeps me um, this is, keeps me awake and this uh, keeps me going on forward and adapting and, and uh, developing. This is, um, this is how I see myself. It is a bit strange, like you said, um, to play a group stage with one team in a different country, to arrive knockout and suddenly play knockout with another team. Yeah, I agree, but uh, honestly, I, I'm here now since three, three and a half weeks, and I, 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 I jumped into this uh, opportunity. I did not regret one single minute. Um, I'm, I'm totally uh, into Chelsea, I'm totally into this club, and I'm, I'm, I'm 100% into uh, this team. And that's why it does not feel so 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 strange anymore. It feels natural to arrive now with my with my team in Bucharest, and I'm very happy to arrive with this group in Bucharest. We feel strong. We know that we have to be strong, brave, and courage to to play against a strong Atletico. But uh, this is the challenge that we are looking forward. John Southall, BBC. Hey, Thomas, um, from what you've seen of your squad so far, how well equipped do you think they are? compete in the latter stages of the Champions League and also do you think you've got an advantage playing in a neutral venue? Well, yeah. Clearly, yeah, because it's a disadvantage for, for Atletico to lose their home ground. We don't have to talk around that, that is uh, obvious. Um, so, are we well equipped? Yeah, I feel clearly yes. It's very easy to answer. I, I love what I see in a, on a daily basis here in Cobham. I love what I feel, I love what I see, the quality, the intensity in training and the enthusiasm, the eager, the hunger to, to compete. I um, like what I feel, a strong bond between the players, I feel a strong club and um, I like the games, there are a lot, a lot of good behaviours and I, I, I trust in the, in, the, in the quality individual and I trust in us as a group. Once you arrive on this stage, there is no other approach than to perform, overperform as a group. And this is only possible if you feel this, the, the bond between the players, if you are involved as a coach. And I feel all these things. That's why I'm very, very happy and excited to arrive in Bucharest. Because um, since I arrived, I have every time the feeling when we arrive for a match that we are ready and that we have all right to trust the, the boys out there on the pitch. We have uh, the possibility to take uh, 23 players, we have the possibility to, to do five changes. Gives us a lot of uh, possibilities that we will use. Jacob Steinberg. Hi Thomas, um, Atletico are a very tough and streetwise side, which is something that Liverpool found out when they lost to them last season. Yeah. Will you tell your players maybe to watch out for kind of any intimidation, any kind of wind-up stuff that might come from them? You know, is this maybe a test of their mental strength? 
this is for sure a test and this is for sure a big test uh, sportive physically and mentally the, this is a very experienced group this is a very experienced club on this level this is a very experienced and tough coach to play against yeah it's a big test and this is exactly what we want we want the biggest test because it brings out hopefully the best in us and uh, we will do it on our way and, and they will play their way is uh, is is uh, the um, you, 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 it's clear when you when you play against Atletico what you get you get you get uh, a hard fighting experienced and a team with a lot of mentality and uh, um, um, and there are many teams who experience this there are leaders in Spain right now but we have our qualities and and this uh, is uh, the focus is on us. Fred Calderia. Hi Thomas, Hi. Uh, I would like to ask you about something that Thiago Silva said in a recent interview to us uh, about the weight of playing the Champions League that is different playing for Chelsea than playing for PSG in this competition as in uh, he feels lighter playing the Champions League for Chelsea now uh, as if the whole success of the season doesn't depend on the Champions League at, oh, yeah. at Chelsea as it used to be at PSG, do you agree? I can. I can understand that he feels like this. For me as a coach, it never felt like this. But I can understand that uh, Thiago as a player felt like this in Paris, that uh, a lot of judgment is made, made only, 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 you have the feeling that it's only to your success in Champions League, because everybody expects you to be champion, a domestic champion, everybody expects you to win all cup competitions, and this more or less have the I can understand when, when Thiago feels it more or less as a given that, that you win all the time. When you work like the players and, and me as a staff and the coach, you know how hard it is to maintain a certain level, to become champions all the time, to win every knockout game in the cup and to arrive on top on, on, on a Champions League level. Uh, and so from the very inside I felt I felt it like a big competition and like a big big challenge to 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 become uh, to become every year champion and to arrive in cup finals every year because it uh, because you feel it every day what is needed to to have this mentality from outside I can understand that he feels like it, that he feels like this because the value and the competition we are in in Premier League is a much higher value than it than it is for for Paris in the domestic league. That's why he maybe feels like this. In general, it should always feel like this. It is sports. It is highest level in sports, and to a certain degree, we have to feel light and we have to we have to look on to the chances this this brings and to to the joy this brings to to compete on this level. And uh, hopefully, we we feel more the joy and more the the adventure in it than 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 the pressure. Okay, we've got time for two more. Last two, Matt Dunn and then Andy Dillon to finish. Matt. Hi, Thomas. Um, Hi. There seems to be little secret that uh, you tried very hard to sign Luis Suarez um, in September, um, or wanted your club to sign him at least. What is it you like about him as a player, and are you aware of his history with Chelsea specifically? No, I'm not aware oh, of the history know. with Chelsea. Just have yeah, yourself. We the biting incident in 2013. Ah. Cool. Uh, and, uh, but, but generally, what do you make of him as a player, and why did you? Why were you so keen on him? <clears throat> well, there was the possibility. We heard the rumors that in, uh, in, uh, he is about to leave Barcelona, who cannot be interested to sign one of the best strikers in in, in world football, in uh, in history and in in present world football. So. So we tried our luck. Uh, we did not make it. He he chose to stay in uh, in Spain. He changed for for Atletico, and again he proves his quality. Uh, is a is a is a natural striker. I think is a born striker, born as a striker, and um, he has the the certain mentality that only strikers have, and uh, this mentality to to show his his will, his intensity, his anger and uh, to, to score, to score and to score and is never, never satisfied. 
So what a mentality, what a player. I'm not involved in, in his history with Chelsea and uh, it's never, it's, for me, it's never, um, it's, it's, it's never a good in, um, thing to look too far behind and, and uh, um, to look too far behind. We look up front and we play him tomorrow and he plays for, for Atletico. And uh, we know about his qualities and we, sh we, we will be very aware of it and uh, we try to... to uh, to hold him back from scoring. Last question, Andy Dillon. Good afternoon, Thomas. How are you? I am fine. And now I'm uh, <laughs> now I'm excited about your question. <laughs> oh, don't, please don't be don't flatter me too much, please. <laughs> um, first of all, just just a very quick one. I'm assuming that Hudson Adoy is travelling with you and could still start the game. Sure. He's shown Good, good. And, and, and your answer to, to Matt there has kind of thrown me a bit, made me change direction. So if, if Luis Suarez were to become available again in the near future, <laughs> would, you still, would you still would you consider working with him again? Would you still be attracted by that possibility? I, do, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. No, I don't know. I don't know because what's the, what's the moment, what's the particular moment? Um, and uh, could have uh, what would have maybe been a fit to our squad in, uh, in 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 Paris. Now things are different. Did not spend one second, and uh, I think he's under contract, and it's it's not worth thinking about it honestly. And I haven't, and the possibility is high that we will not think about it. Okay, that's it, everyone. We will stay on the line, please, for the player Caesar has better. Thank you. I'm done.